West Indies, USA by Stuart Brown Cruising at 30,000 feet above the endless green, the islands seem like dice tossed on a casino's bays. Some come up lucky, others not. Puerto Rico takes the pot, the Dallas of the West Indies. Silver linings on the clouds as we defend the hallmark. San Juan glitters like a maverick's gold ring. All across the Caribbean, we'd collected terminals. Airports are like calling cards, cultural finger marks. The handwritten signs at Port-au-Prince, Piaco's sleazy tourist art, the lethargic contempt of the baggage boys at Fairbird in St. John's, and now for plush San Juan. But the pilot's bland, you're safe in my hands, drawl crackle as we land. U.S. regulations demand all passengers not disembarking at San Juan. Stay on the plane. I repeat, stay on the plane. Subtle Uncle Sam, afraid too many desperate blacks might re-enslave this island of the free, might jump the barbed electric fence around America's backyard, and claim that vaunted sanctuary. Give me your paw. To the toughened tinted glass, the contrast tantalized US patrol cars glide across the shimmering tarmac. Containered baggage trucks unload with fierce efficiency. So soon we're climbing. Low above the pulsing city streets, Galvanized shanties overseen by condominiums, polished Cadillacs, shimmying past rasters with pushcarts as we climb. San Juan's fool's glitter calls to mind the shattered innards of a TV set that's fallen off the back of a lorry. All painted valves and circuits, the roads like twisted wires. The bright cars, microchips. It's sharp and jagged and dangerous and belonged to someone else.